Hey, what's up guys? Fabry here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to play rate like a professional player. I'm going to give you tips and tricks how to use her Q, her ult, and her passive. These uh, tips are really easy to do and can make a big difference in your gameplay and uh, help you get that predator rank or if you're a common player, just make you better uh, overall. First thing I want to talk about is her passive. And it tells you voices in your head. There's three times she's going to say her voices. If uh, the enemy aims at you, you'll get notified uh, that the enemy is looking at you. And then most people don't know the direction of the voice in your headphone is where they look at you. So if she looks at you like this, the enemies I mean, you will get notified, watch out they're watching you, in your left headphones. That means that, that she's in your left side. Most people don't think so, don't know that. Most people think like when you aim at, it's just, she can't tell where she is. But you can, if you actually listen to it carefully, if you have surround sound, it should tell you where she's aiming at you. If she's behind, front, or right side. That's most people don't know that. The other time you're gonna get notified is when there's caustic traps on the ground. Uh, you'll get notified like the woman in their head is gonna say, there's traps here, watch out. That's a, it's gonna just mean that there's a caustic trap near you and you gotta watch out and shoot it. And the third and, fi third and final time is when there's a lot of dead bots that's on the ground. It's gonna say like, watch out, action has been here. But it's pretty useless, that third one, because it just tells you that there's a lot of people there, but you already know because you see all the boxes on the ground. So yeah, that's the three times you get notified by her passive. Now that we finished talking about the passive, let's talk about Raid's portal, her ultimate. Uh, Raid's portal is probably the best thing about her. It can be used in a lot of situations, and it can make fights super easy just by one portal. First tip to know about the portal is it goes 75 go meters. So a good uh, thing to know is you put a ping on the wall, and then you see or on the direction you want to go. Imagine you just want to go like right here. This way. If it's 75 meters or under, it means the portal will reach the wall. Let's go this way. If it's over, like right now, it will not reach the wall. So you ping where you want to go, and if you stop oh, 75 meters, I can go for it. Pop it, portal. and it will end exactly at that 75 meter mark, which is the wall here, like you see. Well, portal placed. 75 meters. So that's the first tip on race portal. That is really good to know. Here's a tip. I, probably, most of you probably know that, but you can cancel your ult if you're not moving. You pop it. You can just cancel it just by re replacing it. So if you pop it, you're not moving. You replace it. It's gonna cancel and you can have it back. Another one is if you're fighting a squad like right here that has cover and you can't shoot them. And another a good thing you can do with your portal is to pop it, Placing a portal. Q, go behind cover, portal placed. pop it again, and now you have an angle on the team. Close. So your team can stay here, shoot at them, and then you can place yourself without getting shot with the portal, shoot them on an off angle, which they won't expect, and then you can take it back with your team, shoot them again. So you can like keep jig peeking them from here to here and they're gonna be like pretty much fucked because they have no cover their only cover is behind their swap well, so while doing another pull like this you get another angle on them super fast and you shoot them and kill them that's uh, another good trick that is really used in comp a lot maybe not in rank but if you use it on rank you're gonna surprise a lot of teams and get you some free kills okay for the next tip here is portaling down teammates imagine you this is your te down Hustle teammate right here your teammate, he gets down over there, instead of going to him, crossing right there in the open, and raising him in the open, you, what you can do is, from the house that you're holding with the cover, you can pop your portal, get your down teammate, the he takes the portal back, the, dummy, the dummies can't take the portal, but not, you know what I mean, the, the, the teammate's gonna take it back, you res him behind cover, and now you can reset the fight, that's a good thing you can do. Uh, save your teammates and putting an advantage on your side. Another thing you can do the same thing is you can portal But instead of this being your enemy uh, your teammate, it's an enemy. So you can portal at the enemy Pop the portal in front of his face. He gets captured Takes the portal right into your full team or your Watson traps or your caustic all very caustic barrels And he dies instantly so you can just pop a portal start running queuing in his face 
Because in Q you can see enemies. Look, you can see them. So you go in front of them, drop your portal, and they're gonna get stuck in your portal right into the full team. And this is pretty funny, but you can get some free kills like that. It makes it a 3v3 instantly. So that's a, a two-way portal. You can do it to down teammate and enemies. This next trick is for for ranked players or comp players. Not really pubs, but you can if you're set up in the house. Imagine this is this is the house. You're set up in the house, and you do not know what to do. The time's ticking. Uh, you're just waiting on on people to come to you in the zone closing. Use your portal a lot. A lot of you guys do not use your portal enough. Every time you have your portal, you should probably use it to go get some loot. If you're missing on loot, you can just take your portal, pop it onto a bin, loot real quick, take stuff you need, take it back, right into your house and safety, and then drop it to your teammate and etc. So you should, every time you're holding in a house in scrims or a rank if it's end zone, and you need loot, you can do portals like this to bins to get you some loot. It's literally, you cannot even get killed. It's super easy to do, super safe, you grab. If you get shot, you take the port instantly back to your house. This is my favorite uh, tip of all, is your, your portal, you can block entrance of houses so you can't get killed by teams or get pushed by teams. Imagine you're alone, you're getting pushed by a lot of teams. You can just pop your portal in the door frame, go to the other door frame, and pop it. So now they cannot enter your building at all. Good. If they try to enter your building, they're just gonna get shoot out. Same thing here. Look, they just get out so they can't come back. And even if they manage to come back, which is almost impossible, right? Can you when you get out of portal, you're standing still. So all you need to do is have you watching the portal here, it's just from safety, like from here. No one can shoot you, and then he takes it, and then you just beam him. And you have your other teammate just do the same thing right here, watch it. When they come out of portal, they just die. So that's a good trick, a good tip to do with your portal when you're in a lost situation, or you're down the man, or you're getting pushed by two teams. You just do that, let the teams fight, and you're chill in your building. Here's another tip, is if you're holding a building, and you want to push on a team that is holding another building, or whatever, it doesn't matter if it's a building or not. You can use your portal to pop it right where they are, like it does not on them, but outside the building, and then takes free shot at them. And then if you ever get crack or low, you just take it back to your house that has cover, heal up. If they take the portal, they're standing still. You're gonna loot, win the fight. So that's basically all you do, and then heal up, and then take it back, and then get free shot on the team. And then your teammate push with you, you get free shot, you get cranked again, take the portal back, no problem, get the cover, heal, and then go over again. So that's just a good good way to attack people other than not using your portal and then just trying to shoot and then you get cracked and you go to you back to your house and you get shot shot and die. This is a quick in and out fights. If even if you get third party by another team, you win the fight, you get third party, oh no, you go back, heal up, and then take the third party. Uh, fight 3v3 again. So that's just a good way to use your portal and most people, casual players or new players don't know that you can do. It's really effective. You should do it. Now let's talk about rates Q. Rates Q lasts 1.24 seconds. Uh, you get it every 25 seconds and while you're in your Q you can see the enemies which is new to the new patch. So it's pretty cool. You can use it now because of that as aggressive and defensive. So imagine you're holding here, and you want to push onto this team. Instead of just walking in the open, you can now Q to them. You can see them right now, look. And then reposition, and then kill them from closer. So imagine you have a Mastiff, and you want to be closer to enemies, or whatever for whatever reason. You just Q, reposition. While uh, you're in your queue, you can see them, so it's easy to get a good position on them and then shoot them. And you can also use it as defensive. So you're getting shot, you're getting low, you're scared, you hold your queue, and you fall back right into cover. You gotta be careful because your queue 
it takes longer now. When you take your Q, it takes up to like, I think it's two seconds, something like that. Well, your the animation is longer, so you gotta be careful. You can't do like you used to be able to like shoot them, then you mid fight, or oh, you Q instantly and then come back. So now you gotta be a, a bit more methodic with your fights. Alright, so now let me uh, tell you how to use your Q uh, without getting shot at. Because now that like I told you guys, the Q is longer, so you can't just like pop it in the open for free. Instead of because instead of 0 0.4 seconds, it's 1.24 seconds. So, yeah. yeah, a good tip you can do is to just strafe and just jump, crouch, spam, and hope they don't shoot you like this. So then, while you're doing your Q, you're at least not standing still. You're just doing jump shots, crouch, strafe, so it's harder for you to hit, get hit. So that's a good trick in the, to do when you're open instead of just queuing while standing still. Uh, another one is when you're in a uh, hill like this, you can use the momentum of the slide to pop and still be in movement. You can also jump while you slide, and that gives you uh, a good a good speed boost, and you're not, not just standing still. So if you if you're on a ramp, you just slide down, pop your queue. If you're in open, you do some little dance move jiggles. So this is how to queue with the new animation because it takes long. Okay, here is a cool one that maybe uh, most of you don't know is that if you fat finger your queue, you can cancel it while uh, by popping your ult. So here I'm fat fingering, but I can pop my ult and then cancel that one like I showed you in the beginning of the video that you can cancel your ult. So if you fat finger your queue, no problem, just pop your ult, cancel it, and you have your queue back instantly. Look. There we go. Placing a portal. Fast as that. Fat finger. Oh no, pop your ult. There you go, you back up, you have your Q again. Here, last but not least, the most important tip of Q's rate that a lot of people don't know, a lot, a lot, a lot of people, even pro players don't know, is that rates Q uh, last, uh, I mean, not last, but distance is 50 meters. So if you want to like go to cover, and you're not sure if your, your Q is going to make it, just ping where you think, uh, where you want to go, and if it's 50 meters and below, you will reach it with your Q. If it's more than 50 meters, you will not reach it. Here's an example of your Q. Boy jumping. You can see, boom, go to cover. So, it's 50 meters. Let's explore this way. Uh, this is yeah. So, just make sure to ping where you want to go, and if it's 50 meters and less, you'll be for sure. Uh, yeah, it will be for sure that you will reach that coverage. Uh, before I end this video, I'm gonna just wanted to show you that uh, for Q of rate when you're in the have your portal in your hands is the old of Q. It's the one that is super quick. Look, instantly have it. So that's just a little, not a tip, but just a advice. Alright, this is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you learned anything from this video, let me know in the comments below which tip you didn't know. And if you want other uh, videos like this, just let me know in the comments what character I should do next. Or if you want me to do a aim trainer, how to aim, how to movement, I'll, I'll be down to do whatever, whatever it is. Just let me know in the comments. Be sure to follow my socials in the description below. And have a good day guys. Thanks for watching.